Before any project begins, I'll always send a customer a 3D rendering of what it's gonna look like. From here, this way they can take a look and if they wanna make changes or add more doors or more drawers or layout needs to be different, whatever the case might be, they can see it to scale in their home as much as it needs to be related and they can make decisions based on the looks that way. They're not guessing. So that's what I've got on the right is the rendering that I sent them. From there, then I will take the drawing and I will uh, turn it into an actual working drawing that I can make a cut list from, um, that then later I can make a build chart from and we can get the thing made to precision. Um, I've been using this program for a while now. This is SketchUp. It used to be a free program years ago. Um, there's still a version of it online that's free that people can tinker with. But I use it frequently and I've got hotkeys for basically everything. So it's a pretty efficient program for me now. I know there are a lot of other drawing um, software things out there for cabinet makers. Most of them will use pre-made cabinet sizes, and since I work pretty much solely in custom, um, I would be altering all of them anyways, it seems. So I pretty much just draw every single cabinet out. There may be a time I need to change how I do this, but for now it's working out just fine. In a cabinet like this, there is no preset size anyways that we're working from. It's pretty much going to be custom uh, in order to fit this odd space. And this particular one was a nook in a wall that had some some weird corner, corner angles in the back. Um, it was basically made originally for one of those big box style large screen TVs that would have slid into this area. But since those are no longer a thing, people are trying to figure out how to use this space. Well, this is one example of how we can use it. So my dimensions are um, somewhat, they're set already in the sense that I have to fit within a certain width. And so what I work for in that case is I will look up uh, TV dimensions and I will pick the largest that I can fit in that width. And then I will make my height for the TV opening uh, relate to that so that they can go and pick a TV that will fit in this space. I don't ever want to restrict somebody if they want to get a bigger TV, I'd rather give them that option. So I draw with that in mind. I also try to draw with uh, the mindset of that they need to be able to use this cabinet for whatever components they might have. And in this particular case, um, this was mostly just for the TV and maybe a streaming box or something small. They did not have a big demand of a speaker system or something like that that they wanted to get into this uh, space. So it left me a little more flexibility to just design it based on the look that they wanted. I've also designed in a space behind these drawers that is open so that any cords and everything going behind the TV area can be reached behind there and plugged into the wall. There was a void, I mean, there was a, the plugs were right in line with where that void was gonna be and the drawers are gonna end up closing that. So I try to look for any opportunities that we can do things like that when designing uh, an entertainment center or something that needs to hide wires. Uh, from there, I just built out the rest of this unit as it was gonna be. There's gonna be doors on the left and right with an opening in the center and uh, pretty much just designed it to look exactly like what I would already sent the customer. I also ended up putting some braces on the back wall that are in the same relation as studs in your wall would be so that if they ever decide to mount the TV, they have something to actually put the big lag bolts into. These are screwed into the back and screwed into the rails and everything else. Here I'm just coloring the cabinet so that I can tell my computer what cut list to make and then I send it off to be cut. One of my guys cuts it out, gives it back to me in pieces, and then uh, 
I actually worked on this on a Saturday when my youngest son wanted to help out. So I had some pieces for him that he could sand up. Um, this has a vacuum system attached. It's very safe and you can see he's even got headphones on even though it's a pretty quiet unit. From there, I just assembled the thing. I used some dominoes and screws and glue and whatever it took. I had it all planned out beforehand, but uh, once I got everything assembled, then one of my guys put face frames on it. They finished out the back. We got it all built up, sanded. Everything was good to go so that when we brought it to the customer's house, uh, we just had to mount it to the wall, rehang it, add some trim on the top and bottom, and it was good to go. Can't even tell there used to be a big old hole in there anymore. But the customer was very happy. They're gonna just put a clear finish on it, but this is pretty much what it's gonna look like all the way done. Thanks for watching.